What's up y'all? Welcome to another painting process with me. Let's jump right into it. So this piece is titled The Chosen One, which I wanted to dedicate to our baby boy. As you can see, I'm carrying him in this video, but I've had him since then. So here I'm starting off with a flathead brush and just applying the underpainting. This initial layer will help you to determine where your shadows and your highlights will be placed. I'm currently mixing the following products together, which is Master's Touch Color Burnt Sienna, as well as the Gamsol Odorless Mineral Spirits, which helps thin the paint. Okay, this chewing gum is getting the works. <laughs> so please excuse my chewing, I look like a cow, but it helps me get in the zone. Though this layer isn't really considered the first layer, which I'm trying to evenly distribute throughout the canvas, um, I believe that this helps the first initial layer of oil paint to stick better than if there was no underpainting at all. So here I'm just taking a clean washcloth and rubbing the mixture throughout the whole canvas. If you're wondering how I'm able to do this without the sketch smearing, I use this workable fixative, which you can find at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I just spray this on beforehand and allow it to dry a couple hours before I start applying the underpainting. Here I'm using a smaller flathead brush, mixing in titanium white and burnt sienna, just to get that first layer of color blocking down to allow me to see where his shadows and highlights will be. Um, I'm actually paying attention to a reference picture that is helping me as a guide to place where the values are. With oils, I do prefer to blend on canvas, so you'll see me actually color packing in these two colors together rather than on my palette. Next, I'm applying my first official layer with a round brush using ultramarine blue for the crown. And I've already started blending some tones for his skin, as you can see. Here, I'm mixing in some titanium white with the ultramarine blue and just making sure I'm getting into the crevices of the details. When it comes to creating a very vibrant brown skin tone, I like to use burnt sienna, reds, yellows, and then of course I'll apply white for the highlights. And this all depends on your skin tone as well. So if you're trying to accomplish a olive complexion, I would recommend undertones of greens and blues. And if you're of darker complexion, I would recommend burnt umbers, purples and blues that will help accomplish that. But this is my go-to medium of brown, so I really have fun mixing um, yellows and reds into the undertones. When creating, I'll listen to music when I'm really trying to get it in. But for the most part, if I'm just chilling and just enjoying the process, I like to listen to YouTubers and sermons. 
um, also podcasts and even TV shows just to listen to like some background stories or learn something new about somebody. It just, it's calming and um, it really helps me take my time. Here I'm going in with a small flathead brush to get the intricate corners of the crown with white and a hint of that ultramarine blue just to give a nice little halo around the element of the baby. Here I'm jumping back to a large flathead brush, blending that mixture into the background, which with black it is creating a ashy gray. I couldn't tell you what day this is. I'm assuming day four or five by the many hairstyles that I've obviously changed throughout the course of this video. I tried to get a minimum of two hours of work done, but this all just depends on my energy. So if I'm not feeling it, I'm definitely not gonna force it. But here I'm just adding in some details, um, just working my way up throughout the layers. So right now I'm just focusing on what shadows need to be more in depth and then go in with some more building of highlights and just make it all come together. The more layers um, that you apply, the more dimensional your element will look and appear realistic. Here I'm jumping to the crown and adding a layer of yellow medium over yellow ochre, which appears to be the highlight and shine of the crown. And lastly, we're adding the value of white to give that finishing touch and pop to the crown that makes that crown look perfectly polished. I'm doing the same here for the jewels, adding some finishing touches of white to give that glistening highlight from the light source. Here I'm just taking my small round brush and applying some stray fray hairs of flat black paint that gives a great contrast against that background. 
The way I use water with acrylics is how I use Gamsol thinner with oils. So how I'm able to get those quick swift strokes with the hair as well as the silhouette of a shadow under this crown is just by diluting the flat black with the thinner. The more you thin your paint, the more that you're able to get that translucent layer where it's not overpowering the previous layer. I hope you enjoyed this brief walkthrough. You can find this piece on briannijames.shop and select more than just one skin tone. Comes in chocolate, mocha, and butterscotch.